If you love train travel, hit that subscribe button. We upload at least once a week, and this way you won't miss any of our content. You can also join our community on Patreon. Your support gives you access to cool features such as early video releases. And finally, follow us on our social media, Instagram and TikTok. Hi everyone, it's us, Tom and Bear. We are at Denver Airport in Colorado. Denver's got a crowding problem. This airport is so busy. Anyways, like most airports, uh, Denver is located quite some distance away from the downtown of the city. Now, there's a great way to get from the airport to the city. We're taking the RTD commuter rail system today, and we're gonna show you how to get from the airport to the city by train. I am super excited to ride RTD because in my opinion, this is one of the most promising rail systems in the United States. First of all, all the trains are electric, which is super unique here in the States. And second, they run very frequently. And third, they're still being built. Once you're down the escalator, the platforms are right there and the ticket machines are right here. So the first thing we notice is that in this car, seating is arranged in rows of two by two seats. But in the next car, which is where we ended up sitting, seating is arranged in the more traditional American two by three rows. This is possible, of course, because American trains, just like pretty much anything else in the US, are bigger. Now legroom in this train, of course, is an Amtrak level, but for a commuter train, it's completely adequate. Thank you for riding on TD commuter rail. As that little plaque indicated, these trains were built by Korean company Hyundai Rotem in 2015, and at seven years, that makes this a remarkably new train for US standards. I switched seats to the bench in front of the priority seating area because here I would have even more legroom and a clear view of the amenities of the train. As you can see, there's baggage racks because this train serves the airport and there are also bicycle racks for bicycles. The priority seating can retract to allow room for wheelchair. Route information is provided on LCD screens and on these LED panels. Welcome aboard RTD commuter rail. This is the University of Colorado A-Line to Union Station. Now we're about to depart from Denver Airport Station. We first have to wait for the airport bound train to arrive from Denver Union Station. Here it is. This gives us the clear signal to leave. Now the entire track is double tracked, but today on the A-Line there was a broken down train. So for part of the route, we had to ride on a single track, which is what caused the delays. Let's talk about RTD commuter rail. Service is split up into two segments. First, you have the commuter rail services, which are heavy rail trains that head in a general northeast direction from Union Station before branching off into four main lines. These are the A, B, G, and N trains. And then you have the RTD light rail, like the light rail train here in this picture. These leave Union Station in a southwestern direction before going into different areas of the city. Some even run on the streets downtown.
If you're looking east when we leave the airport, you might think that Colorado is a very flat place, but take a look at the window on the other side, and you'll catch a glorious glimpse of the Rocky Mountains. All the RTD lines are electrified, something that is incredibly unique for an American commuter rail system and, if you know me, scores bonus points for me. Welcome aboard RTD commuter rail. As you can see, the infrastructure looks very clean and modern, especially the train stations. We're now arriving at Peoria Station, where you can transfer to the R-Line light rail trains. Now on a normal day, these RTD trains go fast, and it only takes about 40 minutes to get from the airport to downtown Denver. But there was a broken down train blocking the track in front of us, and so for a short section this line had become a single track line, and we had to go slow to allow trains heading towards the airport to pass us. Still, even with the delay, within an hour we could see the skyline of downtown Denver. Shortly before arriving at Denver Union Station, the train passes Coors Field, home stadium of the Colorado Rockies. I've been to a baseball game before here, and at that game I saw Amtrak's California Zephyr leave Denver Union Station. Now there's a different Amtrak train here, but it's not the California Zephyr. We did this trip in February, and we were just in time to see Amtrak's Winter Park Express with its unique livery. Denver Union Station is served by all the RTD commuter rail lines, a lot of the light rail lines, and by the Amtrak California Zephyr. We're filming this on February 28th, and there's one special guest here at Union Station, the Amtrak Winter Park Express. So the Winter Park Express is made up of superliner cars. It's got an observation car, and then these special livery cars that are only used on the Winter Park Express. Isn't this so cool? An Amtrak train with a special livery? Um, I'm gonna show you the old Union Station building that's connected to this complex, and then we're gonna review RTD Commuter Rail. Spoiler alert, high praise. So all trains leave from under the more modern looking canopy next to the old Union Station building, but inside the old terminal is the Crawford Hotel. Alongside the hotel, there are different shops, restaurants, bars, an Amtrak ticket office, and just a space where you can wait for your train if it's cold outside. Travel by train. Could not have said it better myself. Hey Bear, welcome to Denver. Yeah.
Wow, Denver truly is beautiful. And what a great commuter rail system it has. It takes about 40 minutes to get from Denver airport into the city. I love that it's electric multiple units. I mean, there's only so many places in the States you can ride electric multiple units. I like the frequency. I like that it's being well used. The modern stations, um, the direct access to downtown. Um, the trains were also very comfortable. I am disappointed that these trains were built in 2015 and look like that, like a seven-year-old train should look better than that in my opinion and I wish there were a few more outlets um, let's talk price I pay 1050 for a day pass so I'm gonna take it back to the airport in a little bit so that makes it 525 per ride bear is not 20 yet he's so young and um, his ticket was only three dollars for a day pass so it's also good value good train travel is possible in American cities you just have to invest in it. And that's what I love about Denver so much is it provides hope that it is possible. Now, I know that there are networks in Europe and in Asia that are much more advanced than the RTD in Denver, but you have to admit for the United States, this is a big step. Anyways, I think more cities uh, should implement a rail system like Denver does. I think Denver should continue to improve its rail system to provide more coverage and Personally, I think you should subscribe to Trains Are Awesome because we're going to review a lot more train systems here in the States and around the world. So see you next time.